All right, guys, this is really important information if you're into or interested in solar panels. And we're going to do a lot of different videos showing you the comparisons. This one should be fairly short. So you can see we've got the King solar panels there. I'm just going to run you inside and show you. This is a perfect example of how pathetic some of the solar controllers are, right? So can you see that? I'll help you out. Where's that sun there? I just want to block that sun for you. Where am I blocking that over here, right? It's 12.5, right? So we're going to go from... Right, that's one set of solar panels connected to two vehicles with two batteries, right? So both vehicles have got a battery, you know, dual battery and a fridge in the back. And you can see this one's sitting on 12.4. Even though the arrows show charging, it's not charging. Right, I guarantee it's not charging. That is not charge voltage. That would be the same if we unplugged it. No, we're not going to unplug it, but here's your comparison, right? The same set of solar panels. All right, comes in the roller door there. Joins two wires, join one wire from the panel goes into two. One, right, the red and black on the right. Go to the car you just saw, no charge. Now let's get in the back of this one. Damn, why is this on 13.4 then? And there's not much sun out there at the moment, but the point is it doesn't take much for the panels to be able to make some charge with a decent solar controller. And that's why in other videos I say I actually like this solar controller better. Even though you've probably seen some examples where the other regulator, you see 14, 14 and a half, 14, 7, 14, 9, even up to 15, which is kind of a bit over, but I've got to tell you, it doesn't normally sit there for long, and I don't mind going up near 15. It's not normally near 15. It's normally mid-14s, which is a pretty good rate. Um, this is a bit low, but at least the damn thing works when it's cloudy and when there's, you know, it, it's more consistent. What, what's this one? If you didn't see the other videos, you should go and, you know, search our channel for the solar solar charging panel battery charging type information right it's the projector dc dc charger right let's do another little thing here let's turn this battery charger on just while we're doing a quick one it's always a quick one that turns into a long one isn't it okay enter 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 so you can see even through this unit 13.45 is the voltage of that battery that confirms it is getting charged while we're at it, let's connect the clips to this battery over here, just to show. There's no maintenance. While you've got the solar panels connected, there's no care, love or attention for this battery over here whatsoever, okay? And you can see what it's on. The doors have been closed, right? 12.43, so slowly that battery's getting drained and drained and drained because there's no love here whatsoever. So that's a negative to this type of setup. And when that battery goes flat, I can't, with this setup, jump start the vehicle. So we've got a problem. We need to modify this system so that we can jump start or connect our solar using one of those crappy regulators because the quality regulator to charge that battery doesn't think about this battery, right? So we need to change it. We need to use a crappy regulator and maybe connect it direct to this battery for a while to get it charged up because you can see what's happening. There's no manual button to connect the two. I'd love to be able to do that. It just doesn't tick the box in so many ways, you know. Great that what it does, when the engine's running, it only gives it 13 point, you know, but look, it goes up to 14 whatever for a short while, but then they drop down to about mid 13s, which I'm not excited about. That's not really getting the right charge into the battery, okay. Where this one over here, back to this one again, it's completely letting us down at the moment, as you can see. Um, that's pretty pretty average, to be honest. Maybe this battery's life finally is getting reduced because one overnight, well, it didn't charge that well, I've got to say. The vehicles haven't been run or charged for a while. Yesterday, it was only got a little bit of charge. It was in the afternoon, if you saw the other video. Um, but right now, you can see where the other one the solar regulator part of the DC charge is working well to get some charge into that battery. And here, we're not getting anything. And it's not the setup because it hasn't changed since yesterday, right? It's these damn, I believe it's the regulators, right? I reckon they're just a bit 
really dumb actually. I could say that about a regulator because it's not going to hurt its feelings, okay? We don't talk about people like that, but this regulator is dumb. It's not the panels because the panels are working with the other regulator, right? Now, we've tried another regulator exactly the same as this, the replacement one. We've tried other regulators that are basically the same but different brands, and generally you get about the same results. It's inconsistent, and that's what I'm saying. If you were to buy a set of solar panels with this sort of regulator, good luck. Now, that must be the fridge kicking in for it to go that low, all right? Let's confirm. Let's go and have a look <clears throat> and just make sure. No, it's not. Wow. That's bizarre. So over here, right, 12.4 still. So, hmm, interesting. Anyway, we're going to monitor this throughout the day. While, while it's possible. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. While, at the same time, 13.3 over this side and that's all to do with those solar panels can't be coming from anywhere else you can see the main battery 12.4 there's no connection whatsoever to the main battery that main battery that'll recover I'll tell you why it's dropping down a little bit it'll recover a little bit because we've got interior lights on because this door is open right 13.3 there so what we're going to do I know a lot of people are interested in this sort of information we'll close the door and the interior lights will go off in a moment. Probably take, there they are. Now, that's the only thing I understand would be creating a draw more than bugger all. I mean, there's other things, but now you'll see that battery to start recover. So the bottom one's coming up. Now, I'll give you some little information for the people that did watch this video. Um, a good battery. See, a good battery. This is less than a year old. That is a good battery. It's not looking too good at the moment, especially after what I'm about to tell you. A good battery voltage sitting there, static voltage just sitting there with no load. I'm not talking about charge voltage straight after you've charged it. It's got to settle. If you've charged a battery, it's probably best to let it sit 24 hours at least to let it settle and not have any load on it. So no load or charge for at least 24 hours. A good voltage to give you an idea is at least 12.65 to 12.8 okay 12.65 i'm not excited about i'm saying that's minimum anything under 12.65 if you've charged it not loaded it let it um, relax for 24 hours if it's less if it's anything like this i'd say it's not a good battery the only reason this one's down is because the interior lights were on right that's a load so want to be really clear that's what i do in my videos i'm really clear about what's going on and if you don't get it yet subscribe turn the bell on keep watching because the education's coming your way 12.6 it's slowly coming up we're not going to sit here and watch it but it'll probably come back to 12.7 12.8 because it's a good battery and that's what will happen even though it's had a load on it for 10 or 15 minutes it had a bit yesterday afternoon as well um so look let's see where it ends up we might do another video or it might end up in the end of this video but you can see what's happening um 12.8 is a really good battery okay remember I'm just gonna say it again I hate to repeat myself but we want you to get it right not do it the wrong and then go oh my battery's only on 12 point but you just had a load on it right so some batteries are going to be higher 12.9s they're going to be 13s 13.1 like these Optimas when they're charged up really well no load overnight come back to it might even be 13 volts so a good Optima is even going to be at higher voltage after it's just been charged, okay? It's going to maintain that, um, you know, surface charge, if you like, a bit longer. Um, 12.63. So I guarantee this battery is going to get above 12.65. So it's not a battery test, guys, but it gives you a really good indication. If it's not between 12.65 and 12.8, you've got a problem. So if you're having alternator, this is not about alternators and batteries, but if you're having problems with your alternator batteries, and you switch it off and you check your, your vat voltage just sitting there and it's 12.5 or something after it's been charged or the engine's just been run, your battery's rubbish, time to get a new battery. Okay, so it kind of is a battery test, but I want it's going to vary with different brands of batteries and what you've done. I want to be clear, a charged battery that's settled, okay, 12.65 to 12.8 is the best indication I can give you. 
right now outside i can tell you we've got cloud we've got bugger all sun that's why we're only seeing 12 point uh 13.24 but 13.24 is better than nothing because in the pathetic lack of sun cloudy conditions we've got this one it's getting nothing look at that it's actually not quite accurate to be honest this regulator must be using a bit of juice as well and a bit of uh something going on but I can tell you this battery will be around about 12.4. We've actually got an app for that. Where's the other? Here we go. Let's see if this works. We've got an app for that because there's a battery monitor there. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll see if we can get the phone connected. No, here we go. Synchronizing data. It's a temporary lull in voltage. It's on 12.24. This is synchronizing data. It's just slowly synchronizing some data. Here we go. I'll show you what we're looking at. They're pretty accurate too. That's probably a little bit more accurate than what this thing here is. Right. Pretty close. Anyway. I'm suspicious that while we've got it hooked up this way, there's a bit of a load on this battery until the sun comes out. We'll keep monitoring the situation. This is a new thing for us, plugging one solar panel to two batteries and two separate regulators, splitting it off like that. It was certainly working well yesterday in the sun. We saw voltage here of in the 14s, ranging from wherever in the 14s, low 13s up to high 14s. And the other one was consistent at about mid-13s, 13.7, 13.5, which is what they do. So the other one definitely more consistent. But the downside is this one, this setup, once we get some sun, can charge both batteries using that, as I explained in the other video. Anyway, guys, there you go. 13, look at that. It's actually coming up. So, so there is, you know, it's to do with the plugs and the setup, I believe. Um... It's creating a bit of a load on and off. Anyway, guys, that's about enough for this video. If you got some info out of that and you're enjoying the experience with this R and not D, just R, R and D, R without the D, give us a thumbs up and make sure if you haven't already, subscribe, turn the bell on so you don't miss the next important bit of information. Thanks, guys. See ya. Just wanted to show you quickly, the sun's starting to come out. It's only about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning and it's winter so the sun's on a big angle. But it's only about half an hour later to the last part of the video where I just joined it on. You can see uh, Jazz, she's sitting out in the sun enjoying the sunshine as I would like to be doing also. I've got the battery monitor on the phone sitting over on the bench because it will stay connected for a number of um, dozens of meters actually away from the car once you connect it it stays connected on my testing and you can see slowly it's creeping up 12.8 12.9 so yeah just showing you guys bit of inconsistency I'll keep an eye on it if there's anything else I'll join it on this video okay guys so the sun's still shining a little bit not too well but not too bad and you can see the battery percentage on the battery monitor and mainly the charge voltage is what we're looking at is so we're getting some charge in there just showing you so these regulators way too much inconsistency there is some cloud the sun's in and out but this is hovering between 12 and a half 13 let's take a quick walk over to check out what you get when you've got a proper can you see through that window yeah i'll open it up hang on Right, same panels, same setup. Fourteen point one. Right, fourteen point one. So same deal. It doesn't really matter, but you know, battery fourteen point two, fridge, one set of solar panels, split, one lead going to one car with the DC DC charger, the projector. And the other vehicle's got the El Cheapo. We'll call it the El Cheapo regulator. Right, so let's go back around here. Just to confirm at the back of the vehicle. So you know it's not just that regulator at the front. 12.7, so 
from what we saw earlier it is charging but not exciting is it are you excited i'm not excited Okay guys, so it's just after midday, you know, 12.30, 1 o'clock, something like that. Check the last photo. Um, now that we've got a fair bit of sun, remember Melbourne, the sun's on an angle. But we have got sun. It's a little bit of patchy cloud around, not much. I'd call it pretty well full sun. Here in the 120 with the dodgy regulator we're finally seeing around 13.6, 13.7. And the other one's consistently sitting on 13.7 now. Just letting you know.